Hey everybody, Buff Cheese here, and welcome back to my Crusader Kings 2 series. Nestorius did nothing wrong. Now, last episode, this twat here, not, not, that's not me, misclicked, this guy, um, decided that it would be a good idea to holy war me. And he would, it was such a good idea, everyone else in the bloody Abbasid Empire is coming to help as well. So, I'm currently losing the war, it's minus 66%. I would rather not lose this war, because then I'll be put back... Uh, quite a couple of steps in forming my kingdom because that is one one of my three duchy titles I control two my starting position and three the name of my kingdom I wanted to make a, a custom kingdom of Mesopotamia if I lose it he might take it off me of course he might not he might just keep he might just leave me the title but not to I can't rely on that so anyway I've hired some mercs I am losing a lot of money because I can't I can't engage them because if I engage and I lose that'll be it but if I don't do anything I'll run out of money and that's potentially even worse so I'm in a stalemate until my allies get into gear and come and help the Duke of Elodia this guy is a real bro he walked all the way from all the way all the way down there walked all the way up got to about here and then was wiped out. It's such a shame, but he tried. The rest of the guys, Bavaria's doing nothing. Elodia was great. The Byzantines were in their own wars, and uh, I think they're on the way to help now. And the Patriarch of the East has absolutely nothing to his name apart from money. If you could give me that money, that'd be great, but he's not going to because he's a selfish twat. Now, I'm going to see if I can maybe delay the inevitable by getting them to follow me. Or at least split up. If they split their forces, I'm fine. Uh, oh, I'm oh yes, I'm converting some people to my religion because I'm taking advantage of the fact that I'm defending versus infidels, and everyone loves me because of it. Uh, this guy, I had to give him a title so he'd convert. I'm gonna now revoke that title from him because he's just a he's he's a mayor. It doesn't really matter what he thinks, and. Yeah, if you could split your army. No, you're not, though, are you? You're going to be really difficult and annoying. Okay, so that was the Egyptian Liberation Revolt. It's just ended. Um, if I move here, maybe try and occupy the land? Might be good. What's What are the Byzantines doing? Oh, they've landed some troops. Landed a thousand troops. That's helpful, but not the best. And Annie, uh, when will they get there? They'll get there on the 8th of October. By there, cool, they're coming for me, 24th I'll get away, good. Where are these guys going? Odessa. Let's go to Talon, and then through to Odessa. Okay, where are these guys going? They're going straight to Kliat. They'll get there on the 22nd of November. I will have 20 days to wipe this army out and keep going. I'm going to risk it. I've imprisoned someone. Good. I can ransom them. Gives me a little bit of gold. Uh, I will get out on the 1st of December. They will get here on this 27th, 27th of November. Clear out. Does that have a thing? It does. Okay. I'm going to have to stay here because I'm not going to get away. If this army gets here in time, which it won't, it might actually do something. So I have mountains. And they've crossed a river. I'm going to slow this story down. I've got a... A narrow flank in the center, which is very helpful, but I don't know if it's going to be enough. They just have way too many men. Yep, yeah, my right flank, my middle flank, everywhere has collapsed. I'm going to retreat into Karen. I did a decent amount of damage, but unfortunately it was not enough. But if this army is going to stay here and help, they're all... Okay, they're going to Annie. That's fine. Okay. Well, the Byzantines have turned up now. Which is good. They're just going to keep funneling troops to, we, to me, I think. Oh, Bavaria's on the way. It's not over yet. And I didn't lose the war from that battle. So that's progress. I'm um, going to have this guy be my spy master. And steal from t from Constantinople. Um, I'm going to attach my army to this one. 
just because it's not going to do much on its own. Uh, luckily, losing all those troops now means... Oh, piss off. Stop occupying my land. Right, we're... S okay, so we rushed down the sieges. Interesting. Um, this is... Bloody hell. The Byzantines are aggressive. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Could we, like, not go and wipe them out? Uh, uh, this is very interesting. Okay, cool. Yeah. Assaulting this one as well. So now we've we've run out we've we've got less troops overall now than them. But more on the way. I think. I hope. Yes. Like a hundred odd men. Not really game changing. Um and I think we're about to get wiped out. Not sure. Okay, getting a bit of a poor score there. Uh, they come to Odessa. We'll get out on the 12th. They'll get there on the 8th. Oh dear. Uh, hello. What's this? Holy War for Azerbaijan. That That is worse than what's going on at the moment. Because I don't even have the troops for to defend this one. And this one's almost lost. We'll see. Oh. Maybe not. Maybe. No, we've. That's so annoying. I thought for a minute that we'd actually crush the army, which would have changed everything. Right. Stop following. Because there's no army to follow. And the Council Battle. Why am I leading the troops? This isn't good at all. Uh, yes, this guy can now be my court chaplain. I don't really care overly much. So I might end up losing Mesopotamia, so I'm going to try and convert the Myophysite province there to Nestorian. Even while my armies are being wiped out. Right, okay, so the Byzantines weren't much use at all. They apparently have 12,000 men that they could bring to bear, but they're not going to. Leading troops in Dolich. Where's Dolich? Is this Dolich? That's Dolich. So that's that guy's army. Um... Which is not the most uh, intimidating army in the world. This guy adores me, though. But it's not him I need to worry about at the moment. It's his bloody vassals. Can I call my allies in? Will they come and help me? Uh, the Basilius will. For another war. So I'm going to have to sort of give up on Mesopotamia itself. I think I'm not going to be able to hold that. Um, there's just too many too many um, whereas as the war for Azerbaijan I might be able to survive yep he'll join my war for this it's very handy thank you um, he's revoking titles this army is holding off quite well and then, then it just gets destroyed as soon as it gets to melee phase so retreat if you can please my courtier has been approached by a dangerous heresy demand reconversion can't allow any of that sort of shit. Not right now. Oh, the Caliph has called a holy war on the Abbasids. I've sort of drained all the Ab all the Byzantines' uh, forces in this war. I can imprison. Why can't I imprison you? I. Hripsima. You want to kill Hripsima? Who is Hripsima? He's of my f of my dynasty. I know that much. My daughter. My granddaughter. Uh, I'm gonna end a plot. Don't want to imprison her. She's a good, she's a good uh, family member. Oh, Stepanos is now strong. Very interesting. He's been born a strong baby. I always imagine uh, when when a strong baby is form is born, like the beginning of Hercules, the Disney movie, where the baby starts throwing everything around. I just, I just that that's that's the only way I can imagine they can go. Oh, this baby, it's so strong. Right, so uh, I don't actually... I could raise my va my levies. Um, I'm guessing, yes, I don't have the mercs anymore. Um, so, yeah, that could be... possible. Um, I'm not going to surrender this war, because, for one thing, it's keeping them busy while they fight over this land. Uh, I don't think I'll win it, but it just means I'll have a 
longer time to defend other lands. Um, of course, if the Abbasids could hurry up and get maximum crown authority, that would be great. But I don't think that's going to happen. Um, oh. A party of soldiers flying the banner of Baron. Oh, I set up camp and field. Uh, my Baron compensates them and he doesn't like me. That's a terrible idea. Local tax revolt. Uh, local revolt risk goes up and tax modifier goes down. Or I pay the money. Uh, no. I don't really care. I've become just. That's that's a pretty great trait. Unfortunately, I'm losing all my land. So it's uh, that's just the problem. <laughs> oh, I can go into hiding because someone's trying to kill me. Who's trying to kill me? Known plots. Shit. My. You what? Uh, how about you end that plot right about now? That's not gonna fly, mate. Sorry. Absolutely not. No. Uh, I'm gonna raise what vassals I have right now before I lose too much more land and can't actually raise anyone. And I'll send them into Agvank, where they can hopefully stay out of the way of that army. Is this another... This guy. Okay, he's joined... Okay, he's part... That's annoying. He's part of that army. That's going to make it more difficult. I can deal with one army. I don't know if I can deal with two. But I need to hold on to Azerbaijan. Otherwise, I'm going to have a real problem. I'll have to keep expanding into Georgia and try and back away from the Abbasids and the, and the Muslims as fast as possible. Okay, so does Shemaka have a river. It has a river to Azerbaijan and Lori. But nowhere else. And I'd need, I need a terrain bonus if I'm going to win this battle. However, if I could call in... Yeah, if you could call... If you come into this. If I could call in... Uh, not call in. Drag these guys into this bit. Agvank. Which uh, has mountains. Mountains are a very good defense. So if they follow me in, I might be okay. Do I have to be at peace to form the kingdom? No. I might be able to form the kingdom uh, without before I even lose this war. If I attack and kill this army, that might give me the prestige that I need. I need 10 more prestige. I'm getting in five months. I would have it. I don't have five months. Oh crap! An army's coming. Fourth of March, seventh February. Okay, as long as I can get out and stay away from them, it's fine. Uh, question him, and I'll get. I get his money. Brilliant. Thank you very much for that. Thank you for being such a scumbag. Um, nothing else will give me prestige. 195. More oh, is that? Oh, fuck, fuck, run. 25th of March. Bollocks. I'm going to have to disband this army. Just so they don't wipe me out. And give them the war score to win. Just literally, I'm three prestige off. There we go. Found new kingdom. Mesopotamia. There we go. Oh, okay. So I, now I'm a king. And du jour, I control... Oh, no, what? Prince Hagop of Mesopotamia. I have kept all my things. I'm like, no, it's gone to Gavelkind. That's weird. It shouldn't. Uh, that's very weird. Okay, let's go to low crown authority. It should be elective. I thought it would keep the succession laws, but apparently not. And anyway, let's have a look. Du jour... It hasn't changed... That. That's weird. Because normally when you make a king custom kingdom, maybe it's just custom empires. That would make sense. Anyway, that's good. So now I'm in a much better position because now I'm a king, which is a pretty great title tier to have because that means that I can press uh, better claims and keep going in my game. It also means that people are more likely to marry my kids. Um, 
but I think I might have to look at Vassali uh, uh, becoming swearing fealty to the Byzantines because I need to expand within them. Maybe get a claim and press it from there, but we'll see how that plays out. Now, I'm about to lose this war, which is unfortunate, unless this army can capture some of that land, maybe? That'd be good. Um, can I raise any of these levies? Have them all gather in my capital. Wonderful. Gain some uh, technology points. Holy War has ended because they've won. That's unfortunate. That was some really good land. And it was also the, one of the few bits of land that I man managed to actually convert. But, whatever. I, I knew that was happening eventually. And that was why I moved out of uh, the whole region. In the hope that I'd be able to survive that. And I have. I've managed to form the kingdom. Which is it's fine. It's not the, it's, I, I'd prefer to win it. But, you know... What can you do? Uh, I'm just going to go back to that person and marry her off because she should probably get married. I'm going to marry her to this guy for some reason. Uh, where is... Is he a cousin? Let's go back. I'm sure I just saw someone in my dynasty who needs to be married. Maybe how far do I have to go back? Um... I'm not sure. I'm sure. If I go through... No. If I go through the Duchy of Mesopotamia, have a look through the history. This guy. Here he is. You know I've seen him. Um, hmm. If I get you to marry... you just my nephew. You're not going to get me any claims, are you? Or any alliances. Let's have a look. Genius... Maybe. Quick. Attractive. No. Strong. No. So I'm going to go with Genius. This young girl. She's 12 years old. So four years from now, he'll get a marriage lights, marriage with her. Potentially get me some Genius kids. And it should be very handy. Oh, she is not uh, agreed with my choice. Do I become diligent? I do not. That's a shame. Oh, the Abbasids are out in force. How's this war going for them? 29% in in their favour. If they could just take a detour and wipe out this this army, that would be really handy. But they probably won't, because that'd just be too helpful. Oh no, they're, just, they're being wiped out. That wasn't that wasn't a Byzantine army. <laughs> I thought it was. It definitely wasn't. Um, okay, so these claims. Oh, I have a claim on the Byzantine Empire. Lucas Mac Macedon. Oh, yeah. I mar married them matrilineally. Um, okay. So... I'm not going to be able to kill him. I don't... What would be the point of killing him, anyway? No real benefit. Uh, okay, so I'm going to march this army into here and hope that they might engage me. Because I have a... There's a river crossing. Which would work in my favour. I'll just make sure that, for one thing, I'm not leading troops. I wasn't, but I wanted to make double sure. This guy can lead the centre, him on the flanks, and him on the other flank. Gaining money, which is good. It is very good. It cost me some money to uh, form the kingdom, but it was a worth worthwhile investment, I think. Shirvan, does that have, it does have a river crossing with Azerbaijan, which is handy, because I'm going to try and uh, unsiege it. This guy will just stand there, apparently. Okay, so I'm going to have this girl educated by someone. Didn't really check her stats. She's alright. It wouldn't be too bad. Um, he still does not like me much at all. That's annoying. That's ran out. Good thing he's just in a holy war. Because that would be pretty bad if he uh, called a jihad or something on me. Wouldn't like that much at all. Okay, so... Uh, let's look at the positives here. I've managed to form a kingdom. I've lost my starting place, but I'll just have to reclaim it at some point. The Abbasids will implode eventually. That is my belief. Especially if this guy managed to die. He's not going to die. Um, 
yeah, so eventually there will, there will be a Decadence Revolt. Or something. And there'll be Independence Wars. And, and they will collapse. I've got to believe this. Eventually, hopefully. They will die. And it will be K. Of course, it might not be K. But we'll see. We'll see at the time if it is K or not. Um, but at the moment, I've just got to try and hold on to... It is this guy's cause this war, isn't it? Yeah. This twat. This absolute knob. I like, can't even holy war because everyone will get involved. That's the issue with starting as a Nestorian. But that's the challenge. And I think I'm actually doing not too bad, considering. Okay, I should... Yep. Ah, uh, and my Fizzite Uprising. He's probably going to just mop the floor with that. 3,000 men. Three fat. That's all you can. That's all you could muster against twenty-seven thousand. They have almost ten times as many troops as you. Well, good luck. If that actually wins, I'll I will eat my hat. I don't even own a hat. I'd go and buy a hat. Okay, so they're coming to fight me. Now, I am actually going to leave this till the next episode because I'm a dick like that. So yes, thank you very much for watching. Next episode, we'll start with this battle, where I am defending in pl in, in step, which will help my horses. Uh, but they have more horses. Uh, but they're also crossing over a river, so who knows? We'll see what happens. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.